This video, sponsored by, Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. In case you don't want to follow this tutorial, you can download this template from my Patreon, and help me to support my channel. Check the link in the description. Anyway, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Valorant Text Animation. As always, I'm using 1920 by 1080 resolution, and a frame rate of 24. Hit OK, and let's move to the first step. Create a new solid layer. I am calling it Electric Flash. Let's keep this black color for it, and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fractal noise. Place it onto the electric flash layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the fractal type to swirly. And then check this invert option. Also, change the contrast value to 800, as well as the brightness value to 30. Now I can see only a tiny bit of noise, so let's change the complexity value to 2, and this is how it looks now. Now for adding some animation to it, we will be using this evolution option. But instead of a keyframe, we will be adding an expression. So press and hold the ALT, or OPTION key on your keyboard, and then click on this stopwatch icon to add an expression. In this expression area, type, time, star 150. It means the value will be changing 150 degrees constantly. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Cool. Again go to the effects and presets, and search for the turbulent displace. Place it right below the fractal noise, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the amount value to 150, and the size value to 50. Also, we have this anti-aliasing option, keep it low, if your system is not fast enough. I'm going to keep it high. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. The one thing I don't like here, this animation is very smooth as compared to the electricity. So we need to make it a little choppy. For doing that, again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the posterized time. Place it right below the turbulent displace effect, and then change the frame rate value to a lower number. I am keeping the value of 12. It means this electric animation will be played at 12 frames per second speed, instead of 24. Not bad. Now I want these electric flashes to appear in the center only, so we need to add a mask to it. Before moving to the next step, let's take a look at today's sponsor. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download, After Effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, web templates, and more. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description. Let's add mask now. So go to the tools, and select the ellipse tool. Make sure to select your electric flash layer, and then create an ellipse right into the center of this layer. I'm keeping this size. Now select the move tool, and then open this mask property. Here change the mask feather value to 100 pixels, to make the edges a little softer. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Let's add the transition to this electric flash. Make sure you are at the first frame, then simply in the effect controls window, scroll to the top, and in the fractal noise, we have this brightness option. Here add a keyframe to it. Now press U to reveal all keyframes. Grab this keyframe, and place it around the 10th frame. Now change the brightness value to negative 100, 
to make the layer black. Let's keep the value to negative 150. Again go to a few frames forward, and click here to add a keyframe on it. Now go to the 1 second position, and this time, I'm going to keep the value same as the first keyframe. You can select the first keyframe, copy, and paste it right here. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. This is how it looks now. Cool. Let's move to the next step. Select the electric flash layer, and make a duplicate of it. Select the top layer, and let's make some changes to its effects. Change the noise type to block. If you notice, I cannot see my bottom layer now, it is because we need to change the blend mode of it. In case this blend mode tab is not available here for you, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key is isolating itself and doesn't want to be in public, then right click here, go to the columns, and select modes, as well as the switches, because we are going to need them. Now change the mode value to the screen. And it will show the bottom layer. Cool. Now change the turbulent display size value to 20, and it will get a different look. It's time to add our text. Go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. Eject from the typing box, and align your text into the center. I'm keeping the text color to this gray shade for now, we will adjust the color later. Please follow me here. Make sure to change this B value to 50, to make it gray. I'm also keeping this Valorant font. You can download this font from the link in the description. Let's keep the size value to 140 pixels, and then align it to the center. Place this text layer at bottom of all layers, and then change this electric flash layer blend mode to the screen as well. And this is how your text will look now. Let's add some animation to this text. Select the text layer, go to the effects and the presets, and search for the random fed up. Here you will find this preset. Double click on it to apply it to the text layer, and now the text will start animating. Let's focus on this text only. I'm going to solo this layer by clicking here. It will show this text layer only. Don't worry, we will unsolo this layer in a few seconds. Now press U to reveal all keyframes and bring the keyframe closer, to make the animation faster. Check the animation, and this is looking much better. Let's move to the next step. Select this electric flash layer, and make a duplicate of it. Select this text layer, and make a duplicate of it as well. Place this text layer right below the top electric flash layer. Now select this electric flash layer, and change its track mat to alpha mat. Now select this bottom text layer, and place it to the right a little, so that it will start appearing after a few frames. Unsolo the text layer. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. I think I need the electric flash to stay for a little longer, so I am increasing the duration of it, by placing the last keyframe a little further. Let's do the same for all layers. Now select this electric flash layer and solo it. Go to the position, where you can see the electric pulses. Now we don't need this layer to be fade out. So I am going to delete this end keyframe. Now go to the effect controls tab, here in the fractal noise transform, change the scale value to a lower number. I am keeping the value of 35. Also, in the turbulent displace, change the size value to 25, so that it will look like this. Unsolo this layer. And this is how our animation looks now. 
you can see we have some sparks on the text layer. I think the electric flash animation looks a little slower. Let's fix it. Press a double time, to reveal the expression. In this expression, change the last value to 300. Let's keep the value to negative 300 for all the electric flash layers, and it will make the animation a little faster. Cool. Now minimize all layers, by pressing U on your keyboard, and now we are going to add some color to it. But first, let's make this electric flash layer a little brighter. Go to the timing where you can see these electric flashes clearly. Select it, go to the effects and the presets, and search for the curves. Place it below all effects, and then change the channel to alpha. Here place the alpha graph to a higher number. And this is how it looks. Not bad. I think I need to keep the timing of this electric flash a little longer. So I am placing the end keyframe on around 2 second position. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Let's add some color now. Create a new adjustment layer, and call it CC. Make sure to place it on top of all layers. Then go to the effects and the presets, and apply the curve on it. Go to the one second position, so that I can see my whole design and animation completely. Now change the channel to red, and change the curve to something like this. It will remove all the red channels from this design. Now select the green channel, and move the line upward. Now select the blue channel, and move the line upward as well. Do the same as I'm doing here. It will add this nice looking color to it. Now again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the glow. Place it right below this curve. And I am going with the default setting. Because we are using the glow, so make sure your project is set to 16 bits per channel. In case you want to change it. Go to your project window, here at the bottom, you will find this 16 BPC, or 8 BPC option. Just click on it. A new window will appear. Here is the color option. Now change the depth to 16 bits per channel, and then hit OK. And it will add a nice glow to this text. Let's select this electric flash layer, which we are using as the track mat, and change its blend mode to linear dodge, so that it will show clearly on our text. And this is how it looks now. Not bad. Now press U to minimize all layers, and then create a new solid layer. I'm going to call it Spark. Hit OK, and make sure to place it on top of all layers. Then once again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC particle world. This is an inbuilt preset of After Effects, you don't have to download it from anywhere. Apply it onto the layer, and then open this physics option. Here you have this floor. Change the floor position value to zero, so that it will fit right into the center. Now we will add a small animation on the particle. Make sure you are at the first frame. Let's solo this layer, so that we can focus on this layer only. Now add a keyframe on the birth rate. Then go to around 5 frames forward, and change the birth rate value to 0. Check the animation, and it should look like this. Now in the floor option, change the floor action value to bounce. And the particle will bounce on this floor. Cool. Let's keep the longevity value to 2 so that the sparkle will stay for 2 seconds. Now unsolo this layer. And go to the timing where you want to place this sparkle. I'm going to place the sparkle at this time. Not bad. Let's minimize this floor option, and open the particle. Here change the particle type to motion square, and also change the birth color to the same as the text layer. I'm keeping the birth, 
and death color the same as our design. Now again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the turbulent displace. Place it right below the CC particle world. Let's go to the timing where I can see the particles clearly. I think I can see the particles here. Now in the turbulent displace, change the amount value to 300, as well as the size value to 50. Also, I'm keeping the anti-aliasing value to high. And now we are done. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I will see you at the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace.